Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by my old friend, Sky Sports Head of Boxing Development, Adam Smith. Adam, how are you? I'm good, Danny. Very well, thank you. Yeah, it's really excited about this fight. I think it's a, uh, a huge one for the end of the year. And um, yeah, Chris Eubank and, and Liam Williams, a fight that the fans have wanted for a long time. And as Chris said, uh, we've given it to them. So uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Not long to go. It's a, a nice short build up and it's going to be very spicy and off to Wales. And yeah, I'm looking forward to going back over the bridge, actually. It's been a while and we used to spend a lot of time down in there. Fantastic fight fans, wonderful uh, place to go. And uh, as, uh, as Ben's tried to do with boxers, taking fights all around the UK, <clears throat> which is great. You know, and, uh, we've, been, uh, we've been lucky that we've, uh, we've got together with, um, with Boxer and uh, in conjunction with Wasserman as well to provide such a huge fight. It's great. You've had, obviously, the start of your relationship with Boxer and also with Top Rank kind of embryonic stage. Does it feel right now like Sky is really back at the forefront of British boxing? Yeah, look, I've always said it's it's a long journey. You know, Eddie left us and uh, left us with, um, you know, 50 fighters short. So we had to go again. We had a, a great relationship with Matchroom, um, but, uh, you know, he went in a different direction. And so we gave him these, these two four-year deals with Top Rank and with Boxer, obviously one hugely established uh, around the world. And I think you've seen already the, the fantastic fight nights we've had from them and the, the likes of your Lomachenkos, your Inoues, Crawford Porter this weekend, which is one of the great fights of the year. Um, so very, very happy with what Top Rank are delivering. And, uh, you know, Michaela Meyer's going to come over here, I think, soon. And, uh, you know, we look to, to get some of Top Rank's fighters uh, fighting in Britain. Um, as far as Boxer goes, you know, very embryonic. You know, they're, uh, uh, they've obviously been around the scene for, for three or four years, but this is the, the, the big mo moment for them. So it's always going to take time to knit in. But I've been really encouraged with working uh, with the team, with Ben very closely and uh, how quickly we've got into our stride. Um, so this is our fourth show this weekend uh, together. We've had obviously Wembley already. We've had the Newcastle show, which was fantastic with Savannah Marshall. We had the tournament show, which was a great start to that series in Liverpool. And now we go again with Richard Riakpour and Florian Marku and, and everybody on, on Saturday night. And then this one in, in Wales. So um, yeah, as I say, we're learning things each and every time, but um, I think we're up and running. And uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're looking forward to a more more big announcements, more uh, big fights for 2022. And, uh, you know, it's not all going to come at once. It's going to be a, a slow build, but uh, maybe not as slow as we thought. Now, a question that a lot of people are going to want to know the answer to. How have you managed to keep this fight off of pay-per-view, off of box office? Um, I was really, really adamant that this fight was a Sky Sports fight um, all along. And I think that Obviously, it's an expensive fight, and uh, so you know, you know, everyone's had to come together, and everybody's had to give a bit of ground. It's been a tough fight to put. Yeah, it's been it's been a tough fight to put together. Um, you know, I'd like to to thank everybody, Rob Selms from our team uh, at Sky, and and. Uh, ben and John with Shusen and, and, and Kala Nisse Fari, everyone from Wasserman, you know, and that's what it is. It's a collaboration. You know, this is a boxer promotion, but we wouldn't be doing it without Wasserman. You know, Chris Eubanks with Wasserman, they're his promoter. Uh, they've come to the party and, and we're, we're all going together and putting on this big fight together. But yeah, one of my sort of stipulations was I really believed it was a Sky Sports fight and uh, I want as many people to watch it as possible. It's a terrific British dust up. It's a grudge match. It's a duel. It's something that should be available for as many people as possible just before Christmas. We did obviously lose Josh Taylor's fight in Glasgow the week later, um, which made me even more, um, you know, look, it's not my decision. At the end of the day, the fighters have got to sign for it. The promoters have got to get the work done. From, from a broadcaster's point of view, I was very, very keen on this fight being on Sky Sports. We all were, and I'm really glad that that's happening. Is it a sign of things to come that this kind of level of fight will be made available free to subscribers going forward? We have to look at each and every one, as you know, Danny. You know, some fights are, are impossible to make just on Sky Sports. You know, it's finances, obviously, you know, run it most mostly. And, you know, you look at Anthony Joshua and Alexander Rusik, you know, all, pretty much all of AJ's fights in, in recent times, you know, you know, there's Dillian White for many years was a box office fighter pretty much because he was fighting in great fights. But it's about the fight. It's about whether we think it is a box office attraction rather than a Sky Sports one. Um, we felt for this. Look, this isn't for a world title. This is a, just a great British fight. So, you know, we know where the level is of it, but it's also a fight the fans want to see, um, whether it's a 50-50 fight. Chris Eubank doesn't seem to think so, or it's a 60-40. But it's a great fight. And, uh, 
We want to make sure that our customers get great action and entertainment. Uh, obviously, we, we put that on in, in different aspects with the football, the Formula One, the incredible Lewis Hamilton drive at the weekend, the cricket, the, the, uh, the golf, the darts that I've just been involved in up at the Grand Slam. You know, there's, there's many big events on Sky. We want to make sure that, you know, there's a real good mixture of, uh, of, of top events on Sky Sports. Uh, through top rank and through boxer and um, and obviously when there's a a box office event or a pay-per-view event then uh, we'll we'll you know we'll go with that um, doesn't mean sky sports box office has gone away of course not it's part of our our uh, our, our, our makeup uh, and has been for you know 25 years now so um i think that we'll have more box office fights in 2022 but um it's it's quite nice i think for the customers that we've only had one in recent times with aj and Usyk. Um, as I said to you, it meant a great deal for me to get this on Sky Sports. Josh Taylor's fight with Jack Catch will be on Sky Sports at the end of February, uh, as will many other great fights. So, uh, yeah, we'll carefully choose which go on box office. And, um, yeah, I think the, the right blend is the right way forward. How do you feel about Matchroom and Zone having a show on the same evening as uh, Eubank Jr. versus Williams? Yeah, that's a question I knew you were going to ask me, Danny. Um, look, I mean, we were always planning to have a fight on uh, December the 11th. That was always uh, in our itinerary, and we went public and said that. So uh, we, we weren't quite sure what it was going to be at the time, because this fight has taken um, a little bit longer than we thought to put together, which is probably why we're, we've got quite a short run up to it. Um, but it's such a big fight that we, we had to go with it. Um, so December the 11th was the, the date we chose. Yeah, I can understand for, for boxing fans that's difficult, but um, you know we uh, we just we we had that date in. It works for a number of reasons from from a transmission point of view, from a sky point of view, from an arena point of view, from many others. So uh, December the 11th is the date that we're going with uh, with uh, Eubank and Williams. And uh, yeah, listen, it's it's more boxing on television, on streaming, on everything. So, uh, you know, the fight fans will make their choice and they, uh, they, we hope that they'll, they'll come with us. But obviously we know that there is another show uh, on that night with uh, with Connor and Katie. And obviously we work very closely with both of those fighters for many years. And, uh, you know, it's uh, it's tough when these sort of things happen. But, um, you know, ultimately we uh, we, we want to push this Eubank Williams fight to the uh, the masses. And um, that's what we do on December the 11th. And uh, it sort of works from, from our point of view. But as I said, we did mention before that we were going to go on December the 11th. Did there being another show on the same night have any impact on the decision to make it non-pay-per-view? Because I think there was a sense that it was going to be at one point. No, 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 no. I, I never wanted this fight on pay-per-view. So uh, Eubank Williams, the fact that it was made on December the 11th, it could have been made for another date. But the fact that you know we were thinking about other things on December the 11th, we always planned a show on December the 11th. We thought of Birmingham actually and uh, and others. And Clarissa Shields is always going to fight on December the 11th, so we're always going to have a, a show on December the 11th anyway. Whatever they decided to do, and then they announced that Connor and, and Katie were going to fight. So uh, look, we uh, we'll go with that. But it made no difference that it was a, a, a box office show or whatever. This is always a Sky Sports show. It just happened that Eubank Williams then came on this date. But that, again, for me, was always a Sky Sports night, not a box office night. So uh, it is a, a big night on Sky Sports, December the 11th, and that's where we are. And completely kind of confident in your own product that it's the superior show on that night? I'm not. Uh, listen, I, I, I'm a big supporter of Katie Taylor, always have been, and a, and a big admirer of Conor Ben and, and, and you know, all our old friends at, at the Matchroom Stable. We worked together for many, many years, Danny. This is, you know, this is, as I've always said with Eddie, a friendly divorce. You know, he's, he made a decision to go to DAZN, and, and that was a decision he made for Matchroom, and uh, he's taken his fighters with him. We had to go again. We're, we, we're Sky Sports. We've been in this business in boxing for 30 years. You know, when I started, Chris Eubank's dad was on his world tour, and, and we've put you know most of the big nights uh, in boxing on UK soil on Sky for for the last you know two or three decades um, so we we weren't going to lie down here we're going to go again we've got the business behind us um, we, we start from a sort of blank canvas with boxer and building a stable you know top rank are providing fantastic sort of global uh, entertainment and fights and nights which is exactly what they're doing this weekend with the wonderful Terence uh, Crawford and, and Sean Porter fight and uh, Andy Scott's out there at the moment I'm very jealous uh, <laughs> but no but we've got Wembley and we've got a big show at Wembley on, on Saturday night headlined by Richard Riappoir I can't wait for Adam Azim and, and Florian Marku and Dan Aziz and Jose Burton it's, it's, it's a really good show yeah, it's a really good show on Saturday night and uh, very excited about it. So, uh, um, look, we, we, we can't have everything. Um, Matchroom and DAZN have got a huge stable. Frank and BT have got another one. So we've got what we've got. 
and we've got to stay doing what we think is right and giving our customers on, on Sky the best possible boxing we can. And we believe with you know, 18 nights from top rank and 14 from Boxer and the odd box office night and you know, maybe one or two others, that's a huge, huge calendar for us and for, for, for our Sky Sports customers. So we're, we're very pleased with, with where we are. And um, obviously, it's, uh, it's not easy. Um, and you know, we wish Katie and Connor and everyone on, on that side the best of luck. It was, it was sad for me to see Terry Harper on on Saturday night last week and, and kid Galahad you know two fighters I'm very fond of and you know this is this is the business and these sort of things happen and uh, you know you get close to fighters and um, it's 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 always difficult and when there is a, a friendly divorce you know you want to wish them the best of luck I wish Connor the best before his last fight and I'll be doing the same again before December the 11th but we've got to concentrate on our business and uh, we've got a huge fight with uh, with Chris Eubank Jr. and Liam Williams, but I'm not going to get into who's better and whose is this, or whatever. It's um, it's up to people to decide, and uh, you know, hopefully you can watch one than the other, or you know, or have them on two screens. Or, but I think that for us, I'm, I'm very confident that this is the the biggest British fight of the year. So, uh, so hopefully our customers will be very excited that we've got this fight, Eubank Williams. Just one more before I let you go, because I know a lot of people are um, keen to speak with you. Canelo moving up to cruiserweight to challenge Ilunga Makabu for the WBC title. Were you surprised then and what do you make of the move? But Roy Jones went up, didn't he, to fight John Ruiz and people were like, what is he doing? Yeah, um, an unbelievable light heavyweight. And I think if he retired after John Ruiz, people would have said he was one of the best three or four fighters of all time. And certainly he had that window where he probably could be seen as that. Um, but that was... That was amazing. Um, Canelo's, you know, providing more amazing stuff here. You know, he's uh, he's cleaned up at super middleweight. He wants uh, other challenges. He's got the light heavyweight division, which is huge. He's got the cruiserweight division. I mean, you know, how how far can he go? He's uh, he's, he's he's built the way he is, um, but he's an elite fighter and a fighter we've got to enjoy. And uh, you know, I love the fact that he wants to take on challenges. Um, I love being around Canelo uh, when I've had that opportunity and um, we've got to enjoy him while he's here and uh, yeah the challenges are fantastic so uh, so let's see how he do how he does brilliant adam really appreciate it cool.